What is going on YouTube? Hit back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to USD. We're also gonna be looking at the current coin market cap, as well as an article discussing Bitcoin sinks to two month low as China moves forward with a state backed cryptocurrency. Very interesting, very taboo. I wanna discuss more about that because I find that very odd. We did talk uh, in yesterday's video, uh, or the one before about China having some issues going into debt. So so very interesting that more news comes out and the fact that their economy potentially could be doing bad in certain parts of China and now they want to use potentially a state backed cryptocurrency in their you know charts and in their tradings uh, and in their economy as, as, as a whole. So these are some very important things that I'd like to discuss with you guys. Like I said, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. We're doing a giveaway at 12,000 subscribers. So make sure to smash that subscribe button. Otherwise, let's jump right into today's video. So before we discuss the current coin market cap, I want to share with you guys um, this article by Forbes saying that Bitcoin sinks to two month low, China moves forward with state backed crypto. So what are they talking about? Obviously, we know the the price of every major crypto took a sharp nosedive Wednesday afternoon. Bitcoin dropped below 10 grand, as we know. Ethereum and Litecoin Ripple XRP also t uh, tanked between 5 and 10% in a matter of minutes. And investors are left wondering where the sudden fall represents a cheap buying opportunity or a critical blow to Bitcoin. So all eyes are on China. Forbes confirmed this week that China's central bank will launch a state-backed cryptocurrency. Uh, the issue is to seven institutions, including Al Alibaba and Tencent, uh, in the coming months, it could be available as soon as November 11, China's busiest shopping day, and may eventually be uh, available to spenders internal internationally in the Western world. So China's strategic plan is to integrate more closely uh, with the rest of the world. Crypto is just one of those means to have more international renminbi. It's all strategic. Strategic. So that kind of makes sense. If they start to accept crypto as a means of payment uh, within their economy, that means that you know more international people can make payments and buy things on their websites, within their markets, everything like that. So it's actually quite a smart step, if you ask me. A lot of online purchases can be made all across the world, not really needing to do the whole um, US to the Euro to the Yen, none, none of that trans, uh, transitions. It's almost like a world international recognized currency with the same price, which is genius. So um, da, 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 da. that's pretty much it. I talked about the Winklevoss twins. Uh, we don't need to discuss that. And then it says the Hyperledger elsewhere. So I think that's it in terms of news in regards to uh, China accepting cryptocurrency. Very interesting. Obviously, if you guys have any more news on this coin or specifically, sorry, on the Chinese or China's government, the Chinese government accepting crypto and making that it's, you know, state backed crypto definitely let me know down in the comments below i do really quick want to share with you guys um this website right here so this is superorder.io i've been hanging out and checking it out for a couple of days now and i did share it in uh, i think it was yesterday's video or two days ago i made a video two days ago and included superorder uh, dot io thought i would share it with you guys bring it to your attention so after you sign in you're brought to this page like i've said and what i've noticed is a couple of things you can actually hook this up to uh a crypto account more specifically like binance or the bigger exchanges you go to your settings and then you go right over to binance you can see right here you scroll down you enter your api key and the api secret and then you can log into binance and you have that exchange pretty much hooked up the other thing i wanted to share with you as i've explored the website more is something called uh, um, strategies. So I guess strategies is pretty much a way for you guys to um, mark out what exactly you want to do and what exactly you want to buy. You can see we just opened it up. So you can create strategies moving for uh, the future in terms of what exchanges and cryptos you plan on doing. And I think these will all interact within themselves. Uh, I believe there's a chance that you could actually have these uh, happen. But regardless, it is a way for you guys to plan out your buying and selling orders. So you can create this one as Litecoin draft. You can see how I have it to buy Bitcoin, five Litecoin, coin you can see the i have it to sell five litecoin i was able to change it to a stop sell so there's a bunch of different things very easy to create what you want on here 
Market sell, trailing buy, trailing sell, stop buy. So it's definitely much more advanced than, per se, Coinbase and a little more advanced than Coinbase Pro. But I wanted to share with you some other cool features on the uh, the charts. And this is a paid program. This isn't a free program, but I'm actually using their trial. It gives you, I believe, 15 or 14 days of a free trial. And I was able to sign up and it gave me a trial. And now I have, I think, 10 days left to explore this, check it out. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I recommend you guys to check it out too. It's very easy. I have a link down in the description below for you guys to access this website as well as I included a uh, affiliate that I was able to find because you can actually message people on the application. You can message people right here. They have an online bot. I don't know why it's not popping up. I was just using it before and you can actually uh, text with real live people to help you through the website of course and they sent me a link for an affiliate code so I thought I would share that and that grants you a 14 or 15 day free trial to access this instead of paying monthly you guys can test it out first so i highly recommend you check that out too otherwise to move on into the episodes uh into bitcoin and some of the other cryptos actually i want to start off with the coin market cap you'll notice market cap is 248 bill 24 hour volume is 40 billion bitcoin dominant 69.3 percent top 10 cryptos everything seems to be down um oddly enough also i did get a new laptop the macbook pro and i've noticed the screen is bigger because normally when i would share this with you guys i would only be able to see the top 10 cryptos now i can show you you know the top 12 which is interesting but um that's just something i've noticed you can see bitcoin uh up 0.47 9600 litecoin number five uh 63 down about a percent bitcoin cash down two and a half percent Market's pretty much consolidating, flatlined consolidation pretty much all across the board, not really seeing much movement. Bitcoin, once again, broke bearish from its beautiful symmetrical triangle, and you can see it's being withdrawn or, or held up on its support right here where the high low minimum moving average is. The interesting and kind of nervous part for me is the fact that we just had a death cross within Bitcoin. Bitcoin just crossed over. You can see the red band is crossing over the green, indicating more of a bearish flag. So I'm paying it close attention. This bear market may not actually be over and we may be experiencing some more retracement, which I know obviously we don't want to have, but the more retracement we have, the bigger the upside we can have too. So very odd to see that we're now starting to see that death cross. So, you know, keep your eye open. We may start to experience some more uh, retracement before we see some upside. Same thing goes with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, I mean, Ethereum. Ethereum is seeing more of a downtrend and a withdrawal than Bitcoin is. Bitcoin at least has a support and had a green candle while Ethereum is pretty much just plummeting down to lower levels. Uh, small drop, uh, also oversold right now on the relative strength indicator. We do have a support right at around 160, 159. You can see right here where that comes into contact and it looks like we're trying to head down to that level. There is actually a support right here that we're at. I'll add that really quick. You can see what I mean as I zoom in. You'll notice right here how we've had this act as a support in the past. And we're currently you know, having that same thing react right now. So very interesting, we're in a smaller channel, but for the most part, once again, consolidation. Uh, we are bottomed off, we're below the high level MMA. So I do anticipate some consolidation to the upside soon, uh, eventually, but right now we do have, it's pretty much a waiting game. We have to wait on the coin and wait and write out this consolidation. Lastly. Litecoin before we jump onto Bitcoin and wrap up today's episode. Litecoin, uh, within a major descending wedge that is opened right now, it's not a closed descending wedge like XRP is, which I'll share. You can see how these are widen, widening and they're more open. You can see for the most part that we do have some support of the, right here. Although it's, it's very interesting because I kind of see some sort of like smaller channel. It's hard to really capture but maybe something like this I'll, I'll make this red too but maybe something like that where we're having this smaller channel here we have support here resistance and then support again we're kind of getting stuck in here as we consolidate lower but we do have a support to retest which is unfortunately 60 dollars and this may be the rock bottom due to the fact that we are actually extremely oversold right now on litecoins daily we may use this as a crutch and a support because we are getting really far away from this rsi or sorry the high level mma and the more chance we have of upswinging all the way back up to now $88 to $100 this zone. I'm really looking for that swing uh, in the very near future. Lastly, to wrap up today's episode, XRP, which has a descending wedge as well, or a descending um, triangle channel, you can see that this does have an endpoint right around here. And you'll notice this does, you know, 
have a uh, support and resistance similar to an open descending wedge. You can see resistance up top here, uh, support up at the bottom right here, and you'll notice it all gets funneled down into a trend line that ends right at around 23 cents. We are extremely oversold right now, and for XRP, I was calling more of a bearish downtrend because we have yet to see any sort of significant break above the uptrend right here, but at some point we will find a really strong support, and once we hit the support, continue uh, we should anticipate some sort of swing like I said similar to Litecoin so in this zone right here is where I'm anticipating so anywhere from 32 cents up to 35 which is a pretty big jump considering the coin is only 25 cents otherwise guys that's gonna sum up today's episode if you're new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up and I'll see you in tomorrow's episode peace